the way you stand sit walk place your hands or your feet silently communicates with the whole world especially women they can express their beauty not just through their physical features but also through their poise and grace and when you have my channel blush with me to help you we will unfold every part of your beauty step by step and today let's talk about how to walk gracefully welcome to blush with me you put on high heels and you change that's true your attitude changes your confidence changes but for those times when you don't have heels doesn't mean that you walk frumpy my today's tips will help you walk well anytime anywhere in any shoes just wearing heels is not enough but knowing how to walk in heels is what matters so point number 1 occasion and what you're wearing influence your walk significantly be conscious of what impression you want to create from that walk from pajamas to office wear to gym to conservative family function to clubbing with friends walking down the aisle as a bride to being the guest at a wedding you have different walk for different occasions you communicate differently just with your walk so let's continue with these basic tips that will help you bring attitude to your walk and change your walking game forever head erect and chin parallel to the floor you should feel as if a string extends from the top of your head to the ceiling and is pulling the top of your head up shoulders back and drop into a relaxed position chest high stretch long through the waist with stomach in don't let your weight settle down on your hips elbow slightly bent and palms turned in make sure your shoes fit you right guys walking in heels is not easy as it is if your shoes are ill fitting it makes the difficult task of walking in heels naturally almost impossible use shoe pads to keep your feet firmly in place it doesn't let your feet slip inside your shoes most women when they're tired try to rest on both their hips thrusting their hips forward and this actually makes their stomach look more awkward instead rest on one leg at a time take smaller steps big steps can sometimes look masculine and also it's harder to keep up a rhythm because when you're walking a rhythm is very important when you're practicing this actually put on some music and walk to the music and then you'll find out how much easier it is for your body when it follows a certain rhythm i see a lot of people looking down at their heels and walking instead just like driving look at your end point and walk straight towards it If you're someone like me who feels we are going to die wearing those really pointy toes and stiletto heels, then go for something like this that has more space to accommodate your toes. It's not very narrow that you'll feel claustrophobic in them. At the same time, the heels are much wider, so you feel better balanced in them. If there's a reason for you to wear heels for a long period of time, then go for heels where this part is much thicker. so it gives you extra height and also helps you balance and feels comfortable for long duration of time i see a lot of people putting all their weight on their toes when they're walking you cannot stay comfortable for very long if you're walking like this and that's not even the natural way your body moves in so always heels first and toes next don't swing your shoulders too much if anything use your hips a woman carries her grace in her hips Depending on what the occasion is you can always emphasize the hips way or control it. Walk slowly. It helps you balance and it also gives off that air of confidence. Leaning forward and walking doesn't just look unpleasant but also can cause issues like back, knee or foot pain. If you notice I'm leaning slightly back instead of leaning forward 
when I'm walking. Just because your feet are parallel, do not walk with your feet parallelly. Let your one foot fall right in front of the other. The same logic applies even when you're climbing or getting down the stairs. Walking up or down the stairs like this will definitely make you look more shapely. You don't have to be a runway model to rock that walk. If you saw my last week's episode where I talked about the perfect red lipstick look, now that's yet another powerful weapon. Use that makeup with these tips and watch yourself transform. If you think my channel is helpful in finding new aspects of your beauty, then do subscribe. Do share it with your friends. Let them know that there is a channel like Blush With Me waiting to transform you. <laughs> Do look me up on Instagram. I have two accounts. One is blush with me underscore Parmita and the second one is Parmita Katkar underscore photo factory. With that said, it's time for me to walk out of here gracefully. <laughs> I will see you guys next week and I'm hoping by then I'll hear back from you. I want to see your comments. I want to see if you tried these tips, how they worked out for you. Don't forget to write to me. Some of you have been very regular with your comments. So thank you so much. I actually know you by your names by now. So I hope that list keeps growing. So do comment. I will see you guys next week. Blush with me.